Hi everybody, my name is James Blackwell and today I wanted to share with you my plans for 2020 um, in business. So 2020 is going to be a great year, hopefully for everyone watching as well. Um, plans for the business, been sitting down and doing that over the last few weeks and I am going to be doing that over the Christmas holiday period as well. Um, next year, um, looking back over what's happened uh, 2019, uh, we ended on a great year with the business. Um, I think we've got a fantastic team here now. So. I'm really blessed to have some brilliantly talented individuals, great culture, great buzz in the office, which has been good. Um, it has been quite a tough journey to get it there now, but I think we're on a right, the right track and got the right momentum now to push forward into 2020. Um, so some of the plans for 2020 are going to be um, to increase the revenue of our business, Ronald James, and um, our recruitment and marketing company. So our targets are going to be just uh, ahead of £2 million revenue we want to be hitting um, next year. Uh, so that should be good. We want to increase headcount, I would say, probably by... Realistically, four or five. I wouldn't. Everyone always says ambition, ambitious targets of 10, 20 staff. But I think we now we've got a good, solid core team. We're just looking to add really good, solid A players. So if they're not going to add value in the team, are we going to hire them? Probably not. So I think it's even been even more picky next year in terms of making sure the next hires in the business are going to be key. So that's the first target is, is the revenue. We want to be getting uh, past that two million pound mark, which would be a great achievement. Um, next year, we want to move more retain, so we want to be moving towards about 60%. I've given our target for the business to be retained business. Um, we're going to be going more into the rest of the north of the UK as well, so I'm um, really targeting bigger um, tech and SaaS companies and really helping them as a full solution to build uh, tech teams. So that's going to be our target for next year. Um, so having probably a, a, a less amount of clients than what we've got now but um, with higher revenue, higher yield, and, and better partnerships as well. So that's the next plan. Um, property company I wanna get uh, set up. Um, so obviously we've got the building here, so we've still got some units left that I haven't really pushed and driven to um, rent out yet, um, but we've had a few tenants move in already, which has been a great success. Um, so now we just wanna finish with the other downstairs kitchen and chill out area and workspace. Uh, for the service office accommodation upstairs. So that's gonna be, I, I wanna get that full by the end of the first quarter in 2020, and that should be good. Um, and then properties, I wanna try and invest in two properties next year. So um, whether it's a buy to flip or buy to let, uh, looking at different opportunities there with, uh, with, with my fiance Laura. So that should be good fun as well. Uh, other plans for 2020 or ho other days, I want to make sure this year, because I did the last two years before last year, was um, pre-booking out like um, our holiday trips. So uh, doing that at the start of the year and mapping it off on the calendar to make sure that um, I get the right amount of travel uh, to inspire me, to rest, recharge, recuperate, come back to the business uh, with new ideas and, and new energy. So. Um, Trips next year, and I'm making three trips next year to Los Angeles um, from a mastermind that I'm part of, so I'm looking forward to that. Uh, and then I would like to go to Dubai, um, I think uh, Cancun as well, on an all-inclusive. And then somehow I want to try and, um, I was going to maybe hire a villa around for all of the family, maybe in South of France, but now I'm thinking maybe in the UK, so, so probably right down the bottom of the country. Um, near uh, sandbanks or somewhere like that so nice beaches nice weather but in the uk and just hire around a big uh, house and hopefully have family and friends visit over a six week period will be great um all depending on how the, well the business does i suppose and how um self-managing the company is um without me on, on sometimes uh so we'll see how that goes but uh yeah so property is going to be a big thing uh increasing our uh, revenue Increasing the headcount, but just with the right people and really driving our marketing uh, agency side of the business. So that's uh, been a lot of my uh, time over the last quarter has been developing that, the website, um, the, the value assets that we, we build for companies now. So that's going to be exciting in 2020 where we move and shift our business slightly um, away from a traditional agency. So it's quite exciting. Um, trying to think what else I want to do. I want to maybe take my car out on a couple of track days. So I definitely want to do a supercar driver club uh, event 
maybe whether it's taking it into Norfolk Wales uh, with uh, the other GT drivers or something like that, that should be quite cool. Um, so yeah, so business, business plans and, and 2020 plans I'm really looking forward to. It's always important, I think, to look back on the previous years and uh, the gap and gain Dan Sullivan talks about in Strategic Coach because we can always be looking ahead and not appreciating uh, how far you've come as well. I'm very, very guilty of that. So sometimes I'm looking forward to the Christmas break just to recuperate and actually um, look back over the achievements, learn from some of the mistakes that we've had uh, and also just uh, recharge and uh, come back to 2020 with a, a big bang. So um, I mentioned on a previous video as well, creating that one page strategic plan is quite important. So whether you use that from scaling up or you use it out of the traction book that I've mentioned as well, um, having that yearly plan with our quarterly plan and the rocks and the quarterly uh, targets is quite important. So that's going to be quite exciting um, that we can implement that. And yeah, so I think um, just wanted to share that video um, in terms of our 2020 plans. Really keen to hear your comments. What are you going to be doing in 2020? Uh, personal development, again, is something I haven't added, but obviously I read a lot of books, um, attend some great courses, some masterminds. So I think uh, next year, again, is just um, probably streamline, streamlining the focus in terms of where I'm learning. So I think I'm, I'm overindulged in terms of the business and the marketing side of things, which is, is my hobby and what I love. But I think looking more on the spiritual side again. So going back to um, meditation and hopefully trying to get in some yoga, I think next year is, is my plan because I haven't managed to do that as uh, much as I liked uh, this year. Um, and, and reading more philosophical books, I think, is going to be my target, um, as opposed to probably just business-related stuff. So, yeah, cool. Uh, if you like the video, uh, drop a like and comment. Uh, make sure you subscribe to uh, our YouTube channel, which is Entrepreneur James. So I think there'll be a link somewhere on this video uh, that'll pop up now. And uh, I look forward to hearing from you. Thank you. Hi, thanks for watching today's video. If you like what you've seen, uh, please like and subscribe the button with Entrepreneur Gym so you keep up to date with all of the updated videos. If you've got any questions or comment, um, I'd love to hear from you. So please uh, drop a comment in Entrepreneur James below and we'll look to answer those on a weekly Q&A video. Keep an eye out for any future videos that we'll be posting. I'll be popping the video in here probably every one or two days. Thank you.